Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about my channel, my YouTube channel, that's right. I started this back in 2016 and was really excited and I was so stoked in February 2021, yep, that's like four years later, when I finally reached 1,000 subscribers. Let me be honest with y'all, like the path with this YouTube channel, it's not always been clear for me. The path has had many turns, many dead ends, and it's just taken me ages to grow it to this point. I mean, there were definitely other demands on my time during these last four years. So I got married, I quit my job in Chile, I had a baby, then I moved to Canada and immigrated from Latin America. That was a whole journey coming to this country. And then I got my a corporate job. Then I had another baby. And then I started, you know, two, three small businesses with my husband. And now we're pregnant with twins. Like the ball's been rolling. We've been busy. But throughout this whole season of doing all sorts of different things with my life, I have had this continual dream to be a YouTuber. And this dream is totally not like the status quo thing. Like when people ask me, what do you do for a living? My default response would be to say, oh, I'm a fundraiser for a nonprofit. Uh, yes, that's my corporate job. Yes, I love that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But what I really want to say to them is I'm a YouTuber. Yep. There are usually crickets after I say that. So I've been trying to practice, actually. I've been trying to practice saying I'm a YouTuber and to like say it with enough swag so that people kind of like look at me. Oh, she's a YouTuber. Cool. That's interesting. Instead of looking at me like, oh, she's a YouTuber. All right. Um, good luck with that. So <laughs> you kind of get both reactions. And I guess it depends on how much confidence you have when you say it to the world. But I'll be straight with you guys. In these last four years, I've gotten some harsh feedback. You can scroll through some of the comments on my videos and you will see some of that feedback. It's very public. But a lot of it, the, the most hurtful ones have been private. You know, stuff that comes from like extended family members or even friends who just don't get my dream and don't get my passion and who have been quite blatantly obvious like in saying, we're not going to support you actually. We're not even gonna subscribe to your channel because this is stupid. And it hurt and I had to continue to hold on to my dream despite the criticism. And this really got me thinking about you guys, my audience, because, you know, I know so many of you are young entrepreneurs and you're dreamers too. It can be really difficult to cope when you feel isolated, alone, and misunderstood. You know, your confidence can get knocked down quickly. That's why I wanted to share with you this week's tweetable. It's natural to want to be understood and liked, but that is a want and not an inherent need. The sooner you distinguish this and let go, the sooner you will find peace within and power for your path forward. It is so important to distinguish that what other people think about you is not important. But you can even distinguish that, but you got to take it to the next step and that's to let it go. You got to let go of what the rest of the world thinks so that you can pursue your path forward. And you have to be willing to pursue that path even when things aren't clear. Like when my channel didn't grow for years, that was embarrassing. Like I remember being stuck at like 300 subscribers for like over a year. And that, of course, that's embarrassing. I was putting out a video a week and it just didn't grow because I didn't have the strategy behind me yet to, to really promote myself. And my time was I was breastfeeding babies and like changing diapers. So that it just was what it was. Beyonce is Beyonce because she put in her 10,000 hours of mastery. She was dedicated until she reached her dream. So don't forget, dedication is what it's going to take. And then another thing is collaboration. For me to finally get some traction and moving forward on my YouTube channel, it took collaboration with others. This isn't something that I did in the first three years. And so my channel was very slow to grow. Then like, duh, I don't know, just one moment it dawned on me, like, why don't I collaborate? Why don't I reach out and ask for help from other people on YouTube, from other social media influencers? And so I did, and I started to collaborate with Funspired, 
which is these this really cool YouTube channel over in the Philippines. And suddenly my videos started getting some traction. Then I decided to collaborate with a social media influ influencer called Janie Dell. And again, I started to get more subscribers. And it took thinking outside of the box and opening up myself to new friendships, new relationships in this community for things to really begin to grow. Then I began to realize, hmm, this idea of collaborating, like let's take it to the next level and start outsourcing because I'm a full-time working mom. So I work for a nonprofit, I do fundraising, then at nighttime, I'm working with my husband. We have a couple small businesses that we run. We run a production company. We have our Amazon business. We've got a couple of other things too. And so like my spare time is zilch, nada. Like it doesn't exist. By the time I go to bed, I'm exhausted. So I realized like if I really want to put out content, then I should hire a video editor. And I did, I got a video editor, somebody else who's helping me stay on top of putting out regular content for the channel. And again, things started to grow. So in conclusion, continue to bring your dreams to fruition through dedication, collaboration, and outsourcing. Work hard to bring them to fruition despite what other people say about you. Remember that you're living life for yourself, not for others. So just, yeah, screw them. <laughs> Let them think what they want. Be crazy, be weird, be different. Be outrageous, be a dreamer, be a believer, be a trailblazer, be an oddity, be what you are called to be because God has a purpose for you that only you can accomplish in this world, your destiny. I celebrate that about you and I want to just take this moment to thank each and every person who has subscribed to this channel. If you are watching this video today, then I appreciate your support of all of my weird craziness that I put out in these YouTube videos. It means so much to me. And I'm gonna keep bringing it because this is my dream and the goodness that I want to bring to the world. So I hope that you will also do the same in whatever it is that you are passionate about. Slam the like button if this video has boosted your confidence and inspired you for today. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.